Okay, so uh, I'm going to install Fedora. Silver blue. Yeah, silver blue. So uh, I always wanted to try Fedora. Because uh, that's probably the the second distro. Um, I mean the second biggest distro. Now I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's the only f um, distro I haven't tried before. So it's pretty popular. Anyway, it's it's an immutable system, so the the system files, the core files can't be changed. It's not writable, so it's pretty secure. And um, so it pretty much use flat packs to install everything, everything. So containerize all the the software on there. It's like a sandbox environment. So I don't think it's got automatic. Why do I have automatic updates here? You could probably set it up as automatic updates, but I think I I'm thinking about Bazite. So as they say, yeah, best route for people. Want a clean, stable base system and do all their messy work in containers or VMs anyway. So let's install it. Let's get a, a VM up. So Fedora. Fedora. I have to call it Silver Blue. So I haven't installed it yet. Um, or used it at all. So I don't know what issues it's gonna have so there is yeah silver blue is there obviously kernel so i'm just gonna choose the newest stuff here but because this is proxmox i'm just gonna use spice but i'm gonna use the q35 machine and then uh, ufi see if it will will uh, work with that camo agent right so uh that storage space pre enrolled keys i don't know that might f screw up things we'll see space wise yo but if 32 should be big enough i mean i don't think it's bigger than that let's just make it 50 for safety reasons right minimum core 4 ah minimum core 4 uh for now four gig as well four oh nine six yeah four oh nine six or four oh nine two anyway that's fine for my network para virtualize next and finished so if it doesn't boot up i'm just going to take away the uefi so i'm not going to screw around with that uh where is it there Right, options wise, I'm just going to enable all the spice stuff so I don't have to worry about it. Hardware, display, looks good. Bo boot sequence should be good as well. Console, let's start. Let's just see what it says if it boots up. Okay, at least I get to the screen. So install Fedora 42. And there's just a live environment if you want to check it out. So let's choose that. Kick in Spice. Mm, minimize that. Okay. And now we wait. Okay, so English it is use English and then the drive click on it uh, choose that and then re-choose it to have it blue and the check mark otherwise it's just gonna complain okay there it goes begin installation and it should go okay so English it is um, English location services like apps to tell me your video account. Uh, let's disable that. Next uh, time zone. I'm in Africa. Next 
enable third party repositories should i admit um, well i'll just say next for now but you can if you want to username and password enterprise login oh right password um, what this is the weak this is the weak password let's see if we can still continue no oh done start using fedora linux right so uh let's just quickly take the tour and see what what it's about what it is about okay it's just a bunch of crap all right let's kill that and uh it's got a different layout it's the gnome is it the gnome layout yeah i want the other is it kde plasma so two desktops here's all your apps um it's your file system file manager normal stuff yeah I'm, I'm very unfamiliar with gnome right software so here you can install and uninstall software i suppose and search for it right while well, that's going text editor what else is on here terminal um settings yeah normal terminal right i just want to see how easily it is navigationable Nav how easy it can navigate for somebody that comes from windows so immediately i see display so i can just uh, let's make this bigger change the display to whoa what 1920 by 1080 um okay that happens and then night light definitely on night light can be used from a virtual machine okay then climb down my throat Ooh, did i just close the settings um i can search with stuff here so settings right so it's dark mode Okay, let's go appearance it might be in the yes oh better and then the backgrounds are in here nice some horrible backgrounds well so I'll stick with the trees right that's appearance backgrounds themes maybe it's so all the apps installed um what is sharing file sharing oh you can just switch it on yeah that's cool well-being <laughs> right color management x render virtual one monitor okay system page remote desktop software updates software is ready network quickly okay well that seems fine everything seems fine uh well just enable it what's happening is it freezing then yeah it looks like it's freezing but yeah that is fedora i'm definitely going to uh oh definitely gonna try it out more and maybe make it my daily install it on my laptop it's not a big maybe it's just a maybe so from linux mint to fedora i think it's a good transition it's uh it feels more secure because of the immutability yeah so obviously updates works a bit different 
is it just see terminal uh speak um oh i forgot the package manager name sudo pkg no it's not pkg oh Ugh, what is it now i forgot I forgot so Fedora um package manager command <laughs> something like that god damn it dn fucking f okay so sudo dnf update let's just run that and see what happens oh okay yeah they don't because it's uh wait Command not found. Oh, clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Well sound respect uh is there in the password you type will not be visible. So what am I doing wrong now? Pseudo DNF update. Did I type pseudo DNF update? Pseudo DNF. Okay, well, I clearly don't know anything about Fedora, but yeah, this is Fedora. Good. <laughs>